welcome to Kitchen Secrets with Survi. Now that Valentine's is around the corner, what better way to celebrate it than to make something special for your dear one? So today in this episode, I'll be teaching you how to make these delicious artisanal hand-rolled dark chocolate truffles. A truffle is a ball of chocolate ganache that is coated with a variety of delicious coatings that include nut powders, cookies, candies, dried petal, dried fruit, and really the options are endless. Start by introducing the ingredients for this recipe. Here I have one and one fourth cup of good quality uh, kvichar chocolate. This is 55%, but you can uh, take 65, 75, up to 80% dark chocolate. And uh, why I'm saying this is because the quality of your truffles will completely depend on the kind of uh, uh, chocolate that you use in this recipe. So it's essential that you use a very good quality chocolate. One tablespoon of butter. This is unsalted butter. 2 third cup of uh, full fat cream and 3 tablespoons of good quality hazelnut spread. I've set up a double boiler and in this glass bowl I'm going to throw in all the ingredients. Chocolate, butter, full cream and the hazelnut spread. I'm going to set this bowl up and wait for the ingredients to start um, melting. I'm giving it a stir. You don't want to just let it sit like this. Uh, you you want to give it a continuous stir from time to time. So another thing to keep in mind is when the water underneath starts to boil, you can maintain um, your pan on medium to low heat. As you can see, we are getting closer to the consistency that we want. Just make sure everything is nicely melting and also make sure that, uh, you know, there are no uh, residual butter lumps or chocolate bits in there. It needs to be a smooth mixture with no lumps. But as you can see, it looks like a smooth mixture and I'm satisfied with where we are at. So I'm going to remove the bowl now. Wipe the bowl. The next step is to cool this mixture down and to do that I will be pouring this mixture into a, a larger flat bowl. Nice and even in the bowl. I'm taking this cling film and I'll contact wrap the ganache. This is to avoid forming a film on top. Uh, you can leave this mixture overnight uh, outside um, to set or you can uh, chill it in the fridge or the freezer until it is completely set. While the truffle mixture is chilling in the refrigerator, I have here a few options that I'll show you uh, we can use to hand roll our truffles in. I'm using 2 tablespoons of cocoa powder, 2 tablespoons of pistachio nuts, 2 tablespoons of almond, 2 tablespoons of rose petals and 2 tablespoons of desiccated coconut powder. The options are endless. You can use crumbled cookies, biscuits, candies. Uh, you can also use uh, other nuts like uh, cashew nuts, walnuts, etc. So uh, cocoa powder and desiccated coconut powder can be directly used. And these are the ingredients need to be chopped up into tinier pieces. So I've taken the blender and I'm adding these almonds in there. And this is the size you're looking for. Similarly, I'll now be chopping up the pistachio nuts. And once you blend the pistachios, you get to see this lovely green color come through. And lastly, I'm throwing in the rose petals. And here they are, your rose petals. truffle mixture in the freezer and taken it out after 45 minutes and this is how the mixture looks so it's kind of like press hard to press and the cling film is coming off easily I'm using this small ice cream scoop to take this mixture out but you can always use a teaspoon so I'm not going to make this too big because they're nice and buttery this is the amount I'm taking 
I'm quickly going to shape it into a ball and just dip them into the topping of choice. Just roll and make sure that the entire ball is nicely coated in uh, the nut. And uh, don't worry, uh, the truffles are never completely round. So I'm rolling them in almonds now. And press if you want to. They're nice and soft and buttery. Now I'm rolling them in coconut. So here is my first set, truffles rolled in coconut, cocoa powder, rose petals, pistachio nuts and almonds. Find that while working your mixture has gotten soft then you can put them back into the refrigerator. Look how pretty and perfect they look and there is only one word to describe them when you put them in your mouth, divine. Wouldn't it be lovely to... Um, Put them in a surprise box for your dear ones on Valentine's, which is exactly what we'll do now. So I have here a box, a small cardboard box, and I have some parchment. I'm just going to stuff the parchment roughly in there, like this, and start to place the truffles in the box. Tell me if you've seen chocolates this pretty. So from one, one fourth cup of chocolate, I was able to get around 26 to 27 of these truffles. Let me now cut a truffle and show you how creamy and smooth it is from the inside. So here you have it, a wonderful box of these melt-in-your-mouth blissful uh, chocolate truffles for you to enjoy with your valentine. I hope you were able to follow along. Do share your comments and thoughts with us. We'd love to hear from you. Uh, thank you for watching. Until I see you again next time, take care.